Hi, I am Tyler Locke, and this is how to borrow from improper and proper fractions. So an improper fraction is where we have a numerator larger than the denominator. Proper fraction, one-third, one-half, so on. So we can change improper fractions to mixed numbers by dividing the numerator by the denominator and then keeping the remainder as the new fraction numerator and the denominator the same. So let's try that. So divide 11 by 3, we'll get 3, and the, the remainder is 2, and then keep the denominator the same. So 11 thirds becomes 3 and 2 thirds. Okay, so now the problem with subtracting mixed numbers is that sometimes the numerator can be of the top number can be smaller than the numerator of the bottom number. For example, let's say we have 3 and 1 third minus 1 and 2 thirds. See, the numerator up here is smaller than the numerator down here, so we can't easily subtract this fraction here. So what we do is borrow from this whole number here and add it to this fraction so that we can easily subtract the fractions. So let's do that. So if we borrow 1, we can write the 1 as a fraction, 3 over 3, because any whole number can be written as a fraction, or that could be also equal 2 over 2, and so on. So let's change it to 3 over 3, and then we can add it to this fraction here, and we will get Let's see, let's rewrite it. So if we borrow 1 from here, we'll get 2. We add 3 to this, we get 4 thirds. And we'll have the same down here, 1 and 2 thirds. Now we can easily subtract these fractions and then subtract these whole numbers. We'll get 1 and 2 thirds. So there you have it. To borrow from an improper fraction, we change it to a mixed number and we, we subtract or we borrow from the whole number part and then add it to the fraction and then we can easily subtract the fractions afterwards and get our solution. So I am Tyler and this is how to borrow from improper and proper fractions.